So you're trying to record or stream an avatar in Unreal Engine, or maybe you're doing something else. Maybe you're doing something else that's gonna run live during real time. And you have it all set up and it looks functional, but you notice that the rest of the shot just looks a little drab. We can fix that. We can make that look a little more cinematic. Introducing the Cinecam Actor. The first step to making something look nice in Unreal Engine for me is the Cinecam Actor. I love using the Cinema Camera Actor in Unreal because it's incredibly lifelike. Settings like aperture, focus, and focal length are roughly the same as using a real camera. These settings all deserve more explanation, but how do we even make use of them in the first place? While cinema cameras are easy to set up if you're doing animation using Sequencer, it can be kind of a head scratcher to figure out how to use them in a game. Go over to the Add Actor bar and grab a Cine Camera asset. This is the first step. Place the camera in the scene and line up your shot in the preview window. Go to the Details panel and play with the focus a little bit until it gets just right on the subject. Now, go press play, but you'll notice quickly that we aren't getting the view that we just set up after we start the game. We'll need a method to be able to hijack the camera and to be able to use it as our main source of video in the scene. Fortunately, this is easy to do, and we're gonna break down three different ways of doing this. The first way we could do this is with Sequencer. This thing was built to make cutscenes. Go ahead and create a new level sequence and add your Cine Camera into the Sequencer Editor. Make sure there's a camera cut track that has our Cine Camera in it. Now all you have to do is click on the sequence object in the scene and press autoplay and set the loop to indefinite. Now when you press play, you'll see through the camera. This is technically just a looping sequence and you can see the results of the sequence, its camera cut track and its chosen camera. This is the easiest method, but unless everything you're doing is pre-recorded, it's not the best. Using a player controller blueprint, we can set our field of view to any actor in the scene with the set view target node. Let's make a new player controller and set this up. Just hook this up to the begin play node, and in between, use a get actor node to find your cine camera. Next, we need to make sure that this thing gets set up in the world settings. Uh-oh, we can't though, it's all grayed out. So we're gonna need a game mode override. We're gonna need one of these, but let's let them be. It's gonna be easier if we just go to blueprint class and then create a new game mode base. Now I go over here, select our game mode, and suddenly all of these are available for me to edit. So I'm gonna go to the player controller. And once again, we get our desired view. However, note that this method without significant modification is only gonna pick one cinema camera. So make sure you only have one in the scene unless you wanna write blueprints that will organize them and switch between them. This is all stuff that you can do as long as you just spend the time. The next and my most favorite way to handle this is to create a new pawn. This is even less complicated than the last method and twice as effective. Simply create a new blueprint, but base it off of the default pawn class. Now under the default pawn root, add a cine camera component. This is essentially the same thing as the Cine Camera Actor, except it's a component. Select Class Defaults and hit Use Controller Rotation Pitch and Controller Rotation Yaw. Now set the name of your new pawn in the world settings like we did with the last method. Suddenly when we hit play, we have a cinematic camera that we can move around. Now you will of course wanna set the focus. I'm gonna go ahead and make another blueprint class and I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna get a regular actor. I'm gonna grab that in I'm gonna stick it right on my character's face. Now, when I go into the BP pawn, I can set defaults here. So I can find our focus settings and then I can go to tracking and then I can get focus point. Suddenly, we have a very compelling focus feature. Notice the way the clouds are all blurring in the background. Once you pick a basic way to handle this, you can start adding more functionality. My blueprints can let me switch between several pawns by setting up a temporary camera and using method two. I covered my process in a recent stream I did here on YouTube, if it catches your fancy. Ultimately, how we control the camera is how we affect the perspective of what our audience sees. So as you can guess, this makes it pretty freaking important. This changes the feeling of the whole scene. To me, it seems super worthwhile to spend time on something like a camera controller and build something out. 